Hello viewers and welcome to my channel, it's Lena here from digitallearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to add a wallet to your Kibit Live account and then make withdrawal with it. So the wallet you're going to add could be Bitcoin, it could be Ethereum and then make withdrawals with that same wallet you are going to add. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published on this channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're already enjoying the platform, keep it live, please give me a comment below. Um, just give me a comment below. Just let me have it at keep it live, keep it live. Just give me a comment below and let's share this opportunity with as many persons um, who are actually out there looking for means of making some passive income um, via the crypto world. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing you need to do is to log into your account. Whether you are using a mobile device or you are using a, a, a computer or whatever you, are, you, are, you have access to, just log into your account. Once you log into your account, you scroll down to where you see this option of your balance. You see deposit and then you see withdrawal and you see add wallet. So our concern here is to click on add wallet. So just go ahead and click on this add wallet. This is the first thing you need to do. You need to add the wallet where you want to make the withdrawals to. So you go ahead and click on add wallet. And once you click on that add wallet, it brings you to um, a page like this where it asks, it asks you to add a new wallet. Now, the wallet we are going to add is where we want to withdraw this uh, money to. It could either be Bitcoin. These are the two method uh, payment method that Qubit Life currently offer. So that you can you can either get your payments in Bitcoin or get them in Ethereum. So I'll just go ahead. I've added. As you can see below, you have added Bitcoin wallets already. So this time around, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to add Ethereum wallet. And it is assumed that you already have a wallet. So what you need to do is whatever wallet you are using, but I recommend Binance for everybody, anybody that wants to actually start trading crypto. If you don't have a Binance account already, there will be links below this video. Just go ahead and you know click on the link and sign up for an account. It's free. And once you sign up for an account and verify your account, once what the first thing you need to do is to log into your Binance account. And then once you log in, you go ahead and click on wallet. If you if you are using a mobile phone, you equally see this option there. So go ahead and click on wallet. And then when you click on wallet, you want to click on fiat and spot. So once we are on the fiat and spot tab here, well, the first thing we need to do now is to go ahead and click on withdraw not withdraw we go ahead and click on deposit because we want to use the address to withdraw from other platforms so we'll go ahead and click on deposit go ahead and click this and then when you click on deposit you have crypto and fiat make sure you are on the crypto tab and then you want to select where you say coin here you want to select the coin you want to get address to for withdrawal so i'll go ahead and select this and click on in this case i want to make withdrawals via ethereum so I'll click on Ethereum. Once I click on Ethereum, you see the address generated here for us. If it is Bitcoin you want to withdraw, just select the Bitcoin here. And once you select it, you see a Bitcoin address generated here for you. So in my own case, I need to make my withdrawals via Ethereum. So I'll go ahead and click on Ethereum. And this is the address that we need. All I just need to do is just come in here and click on this icon here to copy this address. As you can see, address copied. So now that the address has been copied, I'll come back to keep it live and select Ethereum and paste that address I just copied here. Once I paste the address on the label, just go ahead and give it, um, let's say, ET, Ethereum, Binance, whatever. You can name this thing anything, anything you want. It could be your name, it could be anything at all. So I'll just go ahead and name it as Ethereum, Binance, and then go ahead and click on Add Wallet. Now, once I click on Add Wallet, um, Keep It Live will now ask us to confirm our email for this to reflect in our account. So you go and check your email to confirm the link that is sent to you. If you don't click on the confirmation link on your email, the wallet will not be added. So go to your email and make sure you click on that confirmation link to add this wallet to your account. So here I am on my email account, you know, my email, and then you see the Qubit email from Qubit. 
and it says add wallet address so just go ahead and click on the add wallet address and once you click on add wallet address you need to click on this verify go ahead and click on verify all right so once you just click on the verify um, button on your email address then what you need to do now you, as you can see it's showing you that congratulations address was confirmed withdrawal address was successfully added so once this is confirmed now that the address has been confirmed just click on menu and then click on main panel go back to main panel all right so once you click to come to the home panel the next thing you want to do let's go ahead and click on add wallet again and when we click on add wallet again as you can see if i scroll down here you'll see that the ethereum wallet has been added so this is the ethereum wallet that has been added now one thing i want you to take note is that i just added this wallet now i won't be able to make withdrawals to this wallet for the next three days so for the next three days i'm not going to be able to make withdrawals directly to this wallet so you need to wait for keep it live to confirm that this wallet was actually added by you that is why it takes three days to for this wallet to reflect in your account so if after three days i did not receive any complaint that you did not add this wallet and um no complaint at all that uh, with anybody tempering with your account then this wallet will now be showing up on your account it will now be reflecting on your account so please take note again after three days this will take up to three days for this wallet to be showing up in your account for security reasons it will take up to three days for this to show up in your account once it shows up in your account you can now be able to use it to make withdrawals so after three days you can now come back and make withdrawals with this address that's one thing you need to note so that is why i always advise people whenever your account is activated once you buy a license the next thing you need to do is to add this wallet address once the address is added and you confirm that it's added the next thing you want to do now if i go back to the home panel again now on the home panel the next option now will be to make withdrawal so i'll just go ahead and click on withdrawal or we have the deposit here where you have the deposit the withdrawal and the ad wallet so in the middle here you have withdrawal go ahead and click on the withdrawal tab and when you click on the withdrawal tab you will see the amount here and beneath it you will see available to transfer and then yeah, the, your weekly limit now the weekly limit for your withdrawal is according to the size of your license if your license is a hundred dollar license it means the limit you can withdraw every week is hundred dollars even if you have up to ten thousand dollars in your account you can only withdraw a hundred dollar per week please take note of that the limit of what you can withdraw is according to the size of the license you have on your account if your account is um a gold plus license which is twenty five thousand dollars it means your limit a weekly what you can be withdrawing the limit of what you can withdraw every week is twenty five thousand dollars if it is ten thousand dollars it means what you can withdraw every week is ten thousand dollars if it is five thousand dollars it means what you can withdraw every week is five thousand dollars and that is what is showing here that your weekly limit um is this over whatever you've withdrawn over what is left so that simply means that if you have an affiliate or you have um a downline who signs up for an account and the person signed up with let's say hundred thousand dollars account or whatever they signed up with and you in one way or the other the affiliate end up to a hundred thousand because you have a hundred dollar account you have a hundred dollar license you cannot withdraw more than hundred dollar in a week so if you want to step up your game all you just need to do is to upgrade and that will be it so here when you see the balance you just go ahead and input in the amount where it says amount just put in the amount you want to withdraw in this case i have 308 dollars so i just go ahead and put in 308 dollars here and on the next tab is where you select the address you've added already so it might have taken up to three days that you added this address you can see it's only the bitcoin address that i added that are showing up here i don't have the ethereum um, address that i just added so i don't have the ethereum address i just added so what is showing up here is only the bitcoin address that i added so all i just need to do is to just select where i want to make this withdraw to 
I'll go ahead and select the Bitcoin address I want to make the withdrawal to. And the time and fee will be when you want to get this amount in your wallet. So the regular takes up to a week. The regular is one week to for the withdrawal to reflect in your wallet. If you want it in 48 hours, then you can pay 4.5% as fee. That means whatever you are withdrawing, 4.5% will be taken as fee. If you want it in 72 hours, then you pay 2.5%. If you want it to, uh, if you want to pay 2.5 percent, then uh, all you just need to do is to wait for at least a week. Yeah, it doesn't take more than a week. In, in, in within a week, um, you'll get this withdrawal in your account. Then, if it is um, within 48 hours, then you have to go ahead and pay higher fee to get that. If you want to get it within uh, 72 hours, then you have to pay. 3.5 percent to get that so these are the different fee i'll go with the regular i i'll wait for one week to get this and then the next thing is just to go ahead and click on withdraw and as you can see right now the withdrawal the money has been cleared from my account and when i scroll down here let me just scroll down here on the withdrawal history you see this withdrawal we just made that it is pending so the withdrawal is currently pending and that is basically how simple it is and depending on the the, the fee you are ready to pay whether it is one percent it is two percent whether it is two point five percent three point five percent or four point five percent you will get it accordingly so as i said earlier two point five percent will take up to a week um if you want it in 48 hours you pay uh, 4.5 if you want it in 72 hours you pay 3.5 so those are basically the diff um, how simple it is to make withdrawal from the Cubit Life platform i hope this video was helpful please if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it um, with your friends um, so that they can equally be part of this platform and if, if you're out there you want to be a part of keep it live you want to benefit from what keep it live is currently offering there are a whole lot a whole lot of things in stock for members of the keep it live platform so when, when i started keep it live initially i didn't know that it was going to go this far but right now i am so confident with keep it live that i've decided to build it up as a business and I believe if you take advantage of this today, you will equally be happy that you did. So if you want to learn more, you want to be part of my team, um, there will be links below this video description where you can just go and join the community and we'll see you on the other side. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time news video like this are published on this channel. So until we see you again in my next video, bye for now.